Okay, supposedly we are now live on Facebook. I'll believe it when I see it. But maybe we're lucky. All right, so are we all back? All right. Is everybody back? Can everybody hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Well, supposedly, yes, supposedly we are uh, recording and and live on Facebook, so we'll see. All right. So here we are, Act Four, the heist. Okay. Um, Angie, what is a heist? Angie. Angie's not I don't hear. Mm -hmm. It's raining. I can't hear well. It's raining. You can't hear. Okay. Yeah. Mariana and Marco, is it raining in, in Mexico City? I, no, no, no not yet. yet. Not yet. Okay, cool. What's a heist? Uh, it's um, a, a similar to steal. Yeah. Right. To, to steal is a verb. It's something that was robbed, that was a steal. Maybe like the robbery? Robbery. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's a noun. It's a noun. It's a thing. And it's a robbery. Yes, that's right. When something is stolen. All right. So here we go. Is everybody ready? Yes. Yes. Go. Yes, yes teacher. It's not going, we'll try again. Go. Oh. Why, why, why? Nobody can hear this, right? No. 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 Yeah, it's not playing. I'm singing a song. I love technology. I love technology. Huh. So now apparently maybe when we're recording or streaming, it's not going to let us. So I'm going to kill Teacher, the... Hmm. I tried to listen it uh, this afternoon and I can't. I think it's something with the website. I don't so know. So maybe the website's broken. Okay, that's possible. All right, I'll read it then. All right, act four, the heist. So Edwin came up from the station. He's sitting on foot with his suitcase yeah. on the night. Go ahead. Somebody yeah. has a question or an issue? No, we can, we can hear uh, very well the, the web page. You can hear the podcast? Yes. Huh, I cannot. Well, I, I click can't. When I click on the podcast, of the museum and told them oh. he needed. Uh -huh. Whoops. Yeah, that, that was you, right? That was you. Um, somebody else, Mariana and Marco. Yes. Yes. Was Marco. Yeah. When I click on it, it just kicks me to the top of the page and does nothing. Mm. So. Can everybody hear it? The museum. Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Whoever's doing car. it, keep doing it. In the 1880s, on the outside. What? Huh? What, teacher? Go ahead, and if you would, play that section, the heist, act four. Okay. okay. Right, it looks more like a private mansion or a boys' school than a museum. The only way you can see that special bird collection is for legitimate research purposes. So Edwin came up with a plan, a lie. He emailed the museum and told them he needed to photograph the birds for a friend's PhD. Okay, hold on. Are you playing? Would you play Act Four, please? The heist. Okay. Act Four, the heist. Good. Thank you. So he came up. Edwin came up from the station. He's saying on foot with his suitcase on the night. Obviously, he'd been up here before. The detective on the case, Adele Hopkin took Kirk to the crime scene. 
up public footpath 37 in Tring to a sort of secluded area outside the museum. And then came along here. And then he's saying he shared up this wall, which to me is doable, um, up here onto the top. He clips some strands of barbed wire in order to get to a window. This window here, which has now got the bars. <laughs> and was the reason he brought the glass cutter, which it turns out he dropped along the way somewhere. He had a moment of doubt where he started saying to himself, maybe that's some kind of sign that I'm not supposed to do this. Like, maybe I should just bail on this whole thing. Mm. But then this other voice in his head said, no, you've been planning this forever. Like, just figure it out. So he used a different kind of glass cutter, a giant rock. And then um, just smashed one of the windows um, and then went in. Edwin says he's not sure how he didn't cut himself up on the glass. And an alarm is triggered in the museum. And there is a security guard there that night. Mm -hmm. This is a very contentious point, but Edwin told me that he thinks that the security guard was engrossed in a soccer match. Mm -hmm. The museum virulently denies this. Mm -hmm. And they told me the security, that particular security guard doesn't even like soccer. But one thing that we're certain of is that an alarm was triggered, the security guard did not notice it, and Edwin had the run of the place. And he was in there, undetected, for at least an hour. It was a weirdly easy thing to pull off. His plan had just been to take a couple of the best specimens of each species, but in the dark, with just his little LED pinch light, he couldn't see which were the best ones. So he just started grabbing whatever he could fit in his hand. The Katingas were small, he bagged about a hundred of those. The resplendent quetzals, though, were trickier. He had to carefully coil their long tails in order to make them fit. He moved from cabinet to cabinet, sometimes emptying whole drawers, or nearly. He took 47 of the museum's 48 red rubbed fruit crow. He only left the last one because he didn't see it wedged in the back of the tray. Because he's been here before, he knew exactly where to go for what he wanted. Mm -hmm. Filled up his suitcase. Believe it, would you? And just walk back to the train station. Kirk tried to get Edwin to describe the feeling that he had loading the birds into the suitcase. But sitting together in the hotel in Dusseldorf, Edwin was strangely devoid on this score. He told Kirk it wasn't like, ah, oh, they're mine now, ho, ho, ho. It was surprisingly unexciting and technical. Like, how do I make them fit? Though he did admit that even he was amazed he managed to pull it off. Edwin said, quote, the fact that essentially an idiot with a rock could steal a suitcase full of birds from the Natural History Museum, even as I think about it, and I've thought about this myself, it's absurd. And then he went out the way he came in, shoved the suitcase back out of the window first, and climbed out after it. At which point, this total exhaustion fell over him, dragging one foot after the other back to town. And mixed in with the fatigue was paranoia. When he got to the train platform, every set of footfalls on the walkway above him was a potential threat. And he was there for hours. He had missed the last train back to London that night and had to sit on the platform with a million dollars worth of birds until four in the morning. He got back to his room, had this kind of euphoric moment where he laid out all the birds and kind of realized the, the success of his haul. On the floor or? I, I think that he laid them out on his bed. Uh-huh. Do you like roll around in dead birds? <laughs> I, I can't, that I don't know. But um, there was nobody else on planet Earth that had this many flawless specimens of these species. To now be s sitting with this haul, like it would just, he would punch through to the highest level of fly tying because he wouldn't want for anything and he would just have this kind of you, you could just you're totally in a different game now and no one else is able to play with it you know and if they wanted to play they'd have to pay through the nose again edwin had stolen 299 birds from the museum he would never have to wonder again where his next feather was coming from the broken window wasn't discovered until the following morning the cops were called in they look around and the museum and the cops together conclude that nothing seems to have been stolen. Wait, what? Yeah. They went looking for the things that they knew had a huge market value, like Darwin's birds. Darwin's birds, the famous finches, which were still safely cuddled in their drawer. Once again, 
Alfred Wallace was second best to Darwin. Yeah. I went through all that. That's to me, it was like one of the final blows to him is that if they had cared about Wallace as much as they should, they would have gone and checked to make sure that Wallace's birds were still there, but they didn't. And if they had done that, they would have found out right away that they had been robbed. They would have had a big head start on things, but as it happened, it took them almost like it was well over a month before they even found out that they were robbed. 35 days, in fact. The closed circuit surveillance cameras in the town of Tring reset after 28 days. In a statement to us, the museum said, I'm paraphrasing here, that there's nothing more important than the security and welfare of the collection. And after the theft, they changed how they grant access to the collections and also beefed up their security measures. Okay, perfect, good. Thank you, Mariana and Marco. So, um, there, was, uh, there was some co-locations there. There was some idiom there. Uh, anybody have any big questions? Something you don't understand? Mm -hmm. Anybody? How long did it take for the museum to find out that they were robbed? How long 35, did it take? 33 days. 35 days. Right. 35 days. Well over a month. That's what well over a month means. More than 30, 31 days. Right? Well over a month. 35 days, in fact. Okay. What's paraphrasing? Saying more or less Saying. what the person said. Yes. Yes. Saying what the person said in different words. Could we say uh, like passive voice? You want to talk about grammar? No, no, no. I'm talking about like <laughs> <laughs> because paraphrasing. It's also when you change something. Okay, all right. Um, paraphrasing can be when you change something because you want to emphasize something different than the original speaker meant. What it means here is likely, probably that it's because he doesn't have the exact statement or, or he doesn't wish to share the statement. Maybe the statement is boring and he thinks that it's not exciting for us. So he's going to paraphrase it for us. He's going to tell us the important things about the statement, okay? That there's nothing more important to the museum than the security and welfare of the collection. Okay, so that's the museum's, uh, that's the museum's position. They're saying, oh, this is very, very important to us. And so after the theft, the, the heist, they changed how they grant access, how they give access to collections. And they also beefed up their security measures. What's beef up? Teacher to make something stronger or more important? Right, stronger, right, to make something stronger. To beef up your security means to make your security stronger and better. And security measures just means, measures means procedures, methods, everything associated with security. Okay, good. So, Okay, here's the sentence. Oh, Briner, welcome back. I haven't seen you for a few days. Hello. Good to see you. I had been to come back to work. Ah, understand, understand. So, yeah. Briner, would you please say the, can you see the highlighted sentence? Okay, I can see the sentence. 
Okay. Could you say that sentence, please? And I will ask you a couple of questions. Okay. They will have found on right away that they have been rude. Okay. I'll say Are the sentence. The, I'll, no, I'll say. Not roof, roof. I'll say. I'll say the sentence once. Okay. Okay. They would have found out right away that they had been robbed. 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 Okay. Robbed. Good. Okay. To be robbed is what? What does that mean, Briner? What does it mean Rob they had been robbed? In somebody have. Uh, Mm, I don't know. I don't know the the same word in in English. Stole them. I'm gonna take um. Steal. To steal. Yeah. Right. I didn't okay. know the word. Well, it's not exactly the same, but it gives it's the right idea. Okay, they had been robbed, which means they had been stolen from. The birds had been stolen. Okay, so try again, Briner, with the sentence. They would have found out right away that they had been robbed. They, do, they would have found out right away. Great, again. They would have found out right away that they had been robbed. robbed. Who would have found out right away that they had been robbed? They would have found. Short answer, they would have. They would have. Good. Would they have found out right away that they had been robbed? Yes, they are. They are. They are. Yes, they would have. Okay. Yes, they will have. Mm -hmm. Would they have found out later that they had been robbed? No, they haven't. No, they wouldn't have. Yes, they, they would have. And then to change no, no, they wouldn't have. Okay. So would they have found out later that they had been robbed? No, they will have, haven't. No, they wouldn't have. They wouldn't, the, the negative is wouldn't or have. No, they wouldn't have, which is just a contraction of no, they would not have. Okay, no, they yeah. wouldn't have. Okay, please. So, would they have found out later that they had been robbed? No, they wouldn't have. So, when would they have found out that they had been robbed? They will have found out right away they have been robbed. Good. Okay. Um, Marco, Mariana, together. Same sentence. Go. Okay. Yes. Uh, can you put the, the sentence? Yeah, there? I lost the space. Sorry. Okay. okay. Thank you. Who begins? You. Yeah. I, Either one. They, they could have found out right away the that they had been robbed. 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 Good. Mm. Who? Who have found? Who would have? Who would have found out right away that they had been robbed? Um, they would have. Would have. Not good. There's no G. They would have. They would have. Good. Would they have found out right away that they had been robbed? Uh, yes, they would have. Would have. Would have. And Mariana, hey. a little bit of a little bit of a change for it's not robed. Robed is R O B E D. That means you're wearing a robe. Robbed. It's robbed. almost an ah sound. Robbed. Robbed. Okay. Robbed. robbed. Okay. Uh, change uh, right away to later. Okay. Would they have would they have found later that they had been robbed? One more time. You get all the words in there. Would they have found out 
¿Qué, qué, cuál, cuál era? Later. Later. That they had been robbed. Uh, no, they wouldn't have. Good. So, who? When? Well, not now, not right away, not, not later, but when? So, when, when would they have? Yes. Out right away that they No, have? no, 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 no. You can't say right away. Huh. That's the when. When, when would they have found out? Yes. Uh, that they had been robbed, question mark. That they mark. had been robbed. <laughs> okay. They would have found out right away that they had been robbed. Switch. They would have found out right away that they had been robbed. Who would have found out right away that they had been robbed? Uh, they would have. Would uh, have. Would they have? Would they have found out right away that they had been robbed? Yes, they would have. Good. Okay. Uh, would have they? Would they have? Okay, would they have found uh, later? Would okay. they have found later. out later? Okay, would they have found out later uh, that they had been robbed? No, they wouldn't have. Good. So, uh, when would no, a ver. Good, no, good. No, when would they? When would they have found out right away? No. When would they have found out? Okay. Again. Yes. So when would they have found a way that? No, been... you're making the same mistake that Mariana made. You okay. changed right away to later. Okay. So don't say that in the question. Don't say okay. right away. Again. So Again. when <laughs> would they have found out later? That day. Ay, 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 One more time. Come on. You can do this. Okay. So uh, when would no. So okay. when they would have found when when the, so? the, the verb comes first, when would they have found out? So when would they have found out that they had been robbed? Good. Oh. <laughs> Excellent. They would have <laughs> they would have found out right away that they had been robbed. Good. Jason, Valentina. Go. Jason with the sentence, Valentina with the question. Oh. Okay, teacher. <laughs> Are you crying? Are you saying no? I don't want to. Jason, why, why, why? do you Did want to, to, to practice with me? <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe both of you two are drinking. Ah, uh, no. No, no, I think she's good today, no drinking. Okay. Waiting for the week <laughs> today. Okay. <laughs> Go. So, so they would have found out right away that they have been robbed. Mm, what would mm, keep they? Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Who? Who? Okay. Who would have found out right? Ah, sorry. Who uh, would have found out right away that they had to be robbed? They would have. Would they have found out the right way that they had to be enrolled? Yes, they would have. Uh, would um, we have found out the right way that they had been robbed? Robbed. 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 You asking about who or about? She but, said we. She said okay, we. Okay, no, no, no. In this world, you wouldn't have. We wouldn't have. 
No, okay. we, we wouldn't have. But you're right, it could go either way. But, but it's a we, we, you say, no. And, but it's not about her. Have. It's not about you and her, it's about the general case. Would we have found out right away that they had been robbed? No, we wouldn't have. Okay. Okay, uh, so who would have found out the right way that they had been robbed? They would have found out right away that they had been robbed. Good, switch. They would have found out the right way that they had been robbed. Robbed? Robbed. 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 <laughs> robbed. <laughs> robbed. <laughs> Good, robbed. Who? Who would have, who would have found out right away that they have been robbed? <laughs> uh, they would have. Would they have found out right away that they have by, been robbed? Yes, they would. Yes, they would have. They okay. Yes, they would have. Okay. Uh, would they have found out later that they had been robbed? No, they wouldn't have. So when would they have found out that they had been robbed? They would have found out right away that they had been robbed. Excellent. Excellent <laughs> job. Okay, next sentence. They would have had... We're not going to say they would have had. We're going to say they would have, would have had, would have had a, a big head start on things. They would have had a big head start on things. What does this mean? What does this sentence mean? Who can tell me? What's a head start? Maybe they were a very worried about the... What's a head start? I want to know the definition of what head start means. Someone brilliant, maybe. Nope. Let's Advantage. see what Mr. Longman says about head start. Okay, let me give you an example first, okay? Um, Valentina. Yes? You want to have a running race? 100 meters, you and me? Mm, no. You want to have a race? No. Oh, come on, say yes. <laughs> for the purpose of the bit. For the purpose of the bit. You care about drinking. You want, you want to have a race? Drinking. No, don't say that. No, no, no. Okay, okay, yes. You want to race me 100 meters? Yes. Okay, I think I am faster than you. I think I am faster. So I will give you a 10 meter head start. Advantage. Right. I will let you go first for 10 meters and then I will start. Mm. You will start ahead of me. I will start ah, I behind that. you. That's a head start. Mm, okay. I got it. Okay. So now in this sentence, the meaning of it is, the museum would have a head start on things and knowing that they had been robbed, but they didn't know they had been robbed, right? But if they had checked Wallace's birds, they would have known, but since they didn't, they waited 35 days, okay? So the sentence is they would have had a big head start on things. Okay, so let's go, um, Natalia. Natalia. Are you there? You have a microphone? Yes, teacher. Sorry. Okay. No, it's okay. Why don't you go ahead and start with that sentence? I will ask the questions. Everybody listen because you are going to ask the questions. This is very similar to the previous sentence, the same structure. Okay. They would have found out right away that they had been robbed. They would have had a big head start on things, on the situation, okay? Okay, so 
go, Natalia. Okay, uh, they would have had a big head start on things. Okay, first I will ask the who question. Who would have had a big head start on things? They will have. Right, they would have. What would they have had a big head start on? Uh, can you repeat the question, please? What would they have had a big head start on? Uh, things? Yes, things. What would okay. they have had on things? A, a big head? A big head start. Remember? A big head start. Our, our phrase is head start. That means an advantage or going first or understanding earlier, okay? So what okay. would they have had on things? A big head. A big what? Start. A big head to start. <laughs> not head oh, as sorry. start, not <laughs> as start. It's not a head as start. It's a head start, no a, eh. head start. So what would they have had on things? Head start. A big head start. A big head start. Good, oh, excellent, okay. What would they have had a big head start on? Things. Who would have had a big head start on things? They would have. Good, so everybody see the three possibilities? Who, what for head start, and what for things, okay? Would they have had a big head start on things? Yes, they would have. Would my mother have had a big head start on things? No, uh, she uh, wouldn't has had or has. Wouldn't, wouldn't have had, wouldn't have, wouldn't. right? Okay, wouldn't have. Yes, she would have, no, she wouldn't have. Okay, no, she wouldn't have. So who would have had a big head start on things? They would have had a big head start on things. Good, Angie, go. They will have had, uh, sorry, they will have had a big head start on things. Who would have had a big head start on had things? Head. They will have. Would they have had a big head start on things? Yes, they will have. Would uh, Valentina have had a big head start on things? No, she wouldn't have. Would Briner have had a big head start on things? No, he wouldn't have. So who would, who, <coughs> sorry. <laughs> so who would have had a big head start on things? They would have had a big start, sorry, a big head start on things. Okay, good. Work on this phrase, big head start. It's not, <laughs> Big head a start, big head a start. No, big head start. Three okay. things, big head start. Okay. Okay, thanks. Good. Uh, Fanny has no microphone. Isabella, hi Isabella. Hi teacher. Go. They will have a big head start on things. One more time. All of the words in the sentence. They will have a big head start on things. They would have had a big head start on things. They would have had. One more time. They would have had a big head start on things. Excellent, great job, excellent. Who would have had a big head start on things? They would. They would have. They would have. Hmm. Would they have had a big head start on things? Yes, they would have. Yes, they would have. Good. Um, would um, Jairo have had a big head start on things? No, he wouldn't. Good. Or no, he wouldn't have. So, 
Who would have had a big head start on things? They would have had a big, a big head start on things. Excellent. Okay. Um, Cynthia, new student, yes? Cynthia Calizaya or no? Cynthia? Cynthia. Oh, yeah, Cynthia. Are you there? Yeah, I'm Hi. here. New student, Hi. yes? Yeah, new student. Okay. So have you been listening? Do you understand a little bit the structure of our conversation of questions and answers? Do you want to try or you want to listen more? I want to listen more, please. Okay, fine. Um, Andrus. Here I am. I will start. You ask the questions. They would have had a big head start on things. What would, what would they have had a big set on? Things. Would, would they have had a big set on things? Yes, they would have. Um, what is the opposite of, say, head start? Um, that would be a difficult structure. Why don't you use something that we already know how to do? <laughs> okay. Um, would, would they have had a big head start on dinosaurs? No, they wouldn't have. So what would they have had? What would they have had a big set on? They would have had a big head start on things. Good. Now we switch. You first. The, uh, did we, uh, can I uh, do the contraction? Yes. No. Okay, uh, they would have had, they would have, they would have had a big head set on things. Good. Um, don't stress things. Stress start, big and start. They would have had a big head start on things. They would have had a big, they would have had a big head start on things. Good, perfect. They would have had a big head start on things, good. Uh, what would they have had a big head start on? Things. Who would have had a big head start on things? They would have. They would have had what on things? A big head start. What would they have had on things? Two ways to say the same question, ask the same question. Uh, can you repeat, please? Okay, I, I asked the same question. Yes, they I, would have had, I'm just for everybody who's listening, I asked okay. the same question in a different way. So first I asked, using exactly the same structure, they had what, or sorry, they would have had what on things, okay. right? And the answer is a big head start. Yes. I can also ask, what would they have had on things? Uh, yeah. I, a big head start. Good. So, um, would they have had a big head start on things? Yes, they would have. Would they have been very behind on things? That's one way of saying the opposite of having a big head start, but it's a different way because a big head start, right, is is an is a kind of a noun, right? It's a, it's a noun verb together. It's sort of a phrasal verb, but a big head start is a kind of a thing, a head start. In, yes. And this is a big head start. So I could say, would they have been very behind on things? Okay. Oh, yes. Or yeah. there are other ways to say the opposite of a big head start, but they're more complex. So would they have been very behind on things? No, they wouldn't have. So what would they have been on things? They would have had a big, they would have had a big head, no, like again. They would have had a big head start on things. Good. Jairo, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Jairo and Jimena. Jairo, sentence, Jimena, questions, go. Okay. They would have had a big head start on things. Who would have had a big head start on things? They would have. 
would they have had a big head start on things? Yes, they would have. Would she have had a big head start on things? No, they would have. No, she, they wouldn't. She wouldn't have. No, she wouldn't have. So, who would have, who would have had a big head start on things? They would. They would have had a big head start on things. Good switch. They would have had a big head start on things. Who would have had a big head start on things? They would have. Would, would they have had a big head start on things? Yes, they would have. Would, would Andrews have had a big head start on things? No, he wouldn't have. So, who would so who would have had a big head start on things? They would have had a big head start on things. Very good. All right. Teacher, you sent yes, go ahead. In, in the answer, I can say, can I say uh, they would have with the yes. contraction? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what Andrews oh, okay. did. He said would have. They would have had a big head start on things, yes. Okay, thanks. All right, new sentence. The closed circuit surveillance cameras in the town of Tring reset is the verb after 28 days. The closed circuit surveillance cameras in the town of Tring reset after 28 days. Okay, Julian, what does this mean? Julian. I'm here. Um, what, what does this sentence mean? That, that means that the, all, all what is storage in the, the hard disk um, reset, start order over again to, to record over every 28 days. Very good. So, there are cameras in the town of Tring, right? Surveillance cameras. Surveillance is watching, right? The government watching. What is closed circuit? What does that mean, closed circuit? Anybody? Private cameras, private cameras maybe? Well, uh -huh. there, it can be private, but in a more general sense, uh, it's, that's a very good point. In a more general sense, it means that it's connected to a specific network that is not shared with the outside world. So in this case, for example, the surveillance is done by the town of Tring, by the police force. That's not really private. That's a public in that sense. But you're right, it's private in the fact that it's got permissions that only special people can see the camera uh, data. That means it's on a closed circuit system that is secure, that you can't just get into it from the outside. Like I can't get into the surveillance camera system of Tring using my computer and a network because it's a closed circuit. So yes, there's a privacy aspect to it, but it's just that it's closed, but not that it's private as in not public. What is Tring, teacher? Tring? Tring, yes. Okay, anybody, can, can anybody tell? Briner, what is yeah, Tring? Is the name of the city, the town. Right, it's the oh. city in England where the museum is. Okay, I get it. Okay. So, here we are, Julian. Why don't you try the sentence, the closed circuit surveillance cameras in the town of Tring reset after 28 days. The closed circuit surveillance cameras in the town of Tring reset after 28 days. Good. Now, surveillance, surveillance cameras. Make sure you get all of the... All of the, um, there's a lot of syllables in there. 
closed circuit surveillance cameras. Everybody, homework for tonight. Closed circuit surveillance cameras, closed circuit surveillance cameras. 10 times. Okay, go one more time, Julian. The closed circuit surveillance cameras in the town of Tring reset after 28 days. What cameras in the town of Tring reset after 28 days? The, cl the closed circuit surveillance cameras. Good. Could you give me a verb? Um, what verb do we use? What general verb do we use when we're talking about actions like reset? Do. Do. Okay. So what cameras in the town of Tring reset after 28 days? The closed circuit surveillance cameras does. Plural cameras. Oh, sorry. Camera do. Good. Cameras do. Do the closed circuit surveillance cameras in the town of Turing reset after 28 days? Yes, they did. They do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, it's a good point, though, because if this were talking about the, the, the idea of this sentence is in general, it's the general, it's the general situation where every 28 days, the closed circuit surveillance cameras reset, right? in general, right? Yeah. But it could be saying in this specific instance, those cameras reset after this um, robbery after 28 days, you could say, because I asked you if they, if they reset, you could say, yeah, they did. If that would be okay. But in the general sense, yes, they do. So this brings up two ideas. Um, who was it uh, the under uh, that, uh, sorry, that had the definition of what reset means? Uh, I do. You Fred did? Al Alfredo did or <laughs> Julian did? No, did. Start again. Start again. Right. So there's, there's almost two ways this could happen, right? You can reset, for example, on the 28th day of every month, right? And all the data disappears, all the, all the images and everything, the recording disappears, and you start a new uh, set of data, and you start recording for 28 more days. Yeah? Yeah. Or another possibility is that after 28 days, the drive is full and it just starts writing new information over the old information, okay? So either is possible, they're not specific here, right? So reset after 28 days. So, good. Julian, do the closed circuit surveillance cameras in the town of Tring reset after 28 days? One more time. Yes, they do. Um, do the closed surveillance cameras in the town of Bogota reset after 28 days? No, they don't. So, where do the closed circuit surveillance cameras reset after 28 days? The closed circuit surveillance camera in the town of Tring reset after 28 days. Good. Okay. Everybody, everybody clear? What this means? Questions about this sentence? Teacher, in the last sentence, uh, the short answer, can, uh, I can say, in the town, just in the town. You are you asking talking about the the. I work. said I asked where, mm -hmm. where do the closed circuit surveillance cameras reset after twenty eight days? Yeah. You could say in the town, but it wouldn't make sense. What town? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the question was, I changed Tring to Bogota. So yeah. the short answer would be in the town of Tring. And the long answer, which we generally use for this exercise, because I want you to practice um, short answer, short answer, short answer, 
long answer, the whole sentence, okay? I want you to hear that whole sentence twice, okay? So, yeah. yes. Um, Michael, did you go yet? I'm sorry, I'm, my, my brain is not sharp today. Did you go? No, I haven't, teacher, okay. I'm here. Okay, so I will start, please ask me the questions. The closed circuit surveillance cameras in the town of Tring reset after 28 days. Where do the closed circuit surveillance cameras reset after 28 days? In the town of Tring. Do the closed circuit surveillance cameras in the town of Tring reset after 20 days? Yes, they do. Do the closed circuit surveillance cameras in the town of Chinakota reset after 28 days? No, they don't. So, where do the closed circuit surveillance cameras reset after 20 days? The closed circuit surveillance cameras in the town of Tring reset after 28 days. Good. So, Michael, one small thing. This word. What you're doing is you're taking this I and you're transposing it after the elves. So you're, you, to my ear, you're saying surveillance, surveillance, okay? Surveillance. Pretend the I is not there or that the E and the I is one sound and that sound is A, A, the long A sound, surveillance. Surveillance. Right, okay. this A, is a schwa, is a schwa sound, the uh sound. Surveillance, three syllables. Surveillance, surveillance. surveillance. Okay. Okay, so, teacher, thanks. Uh, teacher, a question uh, with, the, with after and after. Sometimes I use after, is that right? The pronunciation, after? No, after. Thanks. You mean, you mean uh, making the, the T, uh, silent? Yeah. Like in often, O-F-T-E-N? Yes, yes. Yeah, only in often. And some people say often, but that sounds very strange to me because I'm not British. But most British people seems like say often, and many Amer North Americans say often. But you cannot forget the T in after. It's not after. Okay, teacher, thanks. Okay. All right, now you the sentence, please, Michael. The closed circuit surveillance cameras in the town of Trang were set after 20 days. Okay. After how many days do the closed circuit surveillance cameras in the town of Tring reset? 28. Good. Do the closed circuit surveillance cameras in the town of Tring reset after 28 days? Yes, they do. Do the closed circuit surveillance cameras in the town of Tring reset after 35 days? No, they don't. So after how many days do the closed circuit surveillance cameras in the town of Tring reset? The closed circuit surveillance of cameras in the town of Trang reset after 28 days. Excellent. Um, Maria Yu, are you new, a new student? Yes, Maria? I started today, teacher. Hi, Maria. Um, Hi. Are you understanding a little of the way that we are asking questions? Do you understand yes. information questions and yes, no questions? Yes, I understand. Okay. Good. How about uh, Cynthia now? Do you, un are you understanding more? Is it clear? You have questions? Maybe. Okay. So to summarize though, for everyone, sentence, information question, short answer. Yes, no question, positive, short answer. Yes, no question, negative, because we have changed something. Short answer. And finally, 
the entonces question, the so question, information question, and the answer to the information question is just the first sentence, okay? So, uh, Alfredo, did you go yet? Yes, teacher, here I am. Did you go yet? Have you had your opportunity? No, 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 I didn't. Okay, did. go. Okay, here I go. The closed circuit surveillance cameras in the town of Trang reset after 28 days. You're doing exactly the same thing that Michael was doing with surveillance. Surveillance. Sur surveillance. No surveillance. Surveillance. No. Think of the, the, the sound after the two L's as uh, uh. That's the schwa sound, the most common sound in English. The, uh, uh surveillance, 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 surveillance. Good. Surveillance. Okay. The okay. closed circuit surveillance cameras in the town of Trent reset after 28 days. Good. What, what in the town of Tring? Okay, resets after 28 days. Why do I use resets? Because if I don't know that it's plural or singular, I default to the singular. It, he, she, it resets. So what in the town of Tring resets after 28 days? The closed circuit surveillance camera. Can I have a verb? Cameras did. Do. 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 Uh, do. Do. Okay, good. You sure now? Do. <laughs> do. Yeah. <laughs> the closed circuit surveillance cameras do. Okay. Do the closed circuit surveillance cameras in the town of Tring reset after 28 days? Yes, they do. Do the cars in the town of Tring reset after 28 days? No, they don't. So, what in the town of Tring resets after 28 days? The closed circuit surveillance cameras in the town of Tring reset after 28 days. Good. Okay. Um, Maria, do you want to try one? Yes, I would okay. like it. You go first with the sentence, please. The closed circuit surveillance cameras in the town of train reset after 28 days. Good. One small thing. This word. Can you say that word for me? Circuit. Sir cut. Sir -cut. Sir -cut. Sir -cut. Sir cut. Yeah, but Sir -cut. say it quickly. Say it quickly. And the second eye should almost disappear. Circuit. 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 Okay. Closed circuit surveillance cameras. Okay. One more time with the sentence. Go. Okay. The closed circuit surveillance cameras in the tone of train reset after 28 days. Good. What cameras in the town of Tring reset after 28 days? The closed circuit surveillance cameras do. Excellent. Do the closed circuit surveillance cameras in the town of Tring reset after 28 days? Yes, they do. Do the public surveillance cameras in the town of Tring reset after 28 days? No, they don't. So what cameras in the town of Tring reset after 28 days? The closed circuit surveillance cameras do good but normally we in the for the very last uh sentence for the very last question we answer with the complete sentence okay so go ahead one more time the, the whole sentence what okay. what uh what um cameras in the town of tring reset after 28 days the closed circuit surveillance cameras in the town of train reset after 28 days. Good, very good. Now, 
change, you ask me the questions. The closed circuit surveillance cameras in the town of Tring reset after 28 days. What cameras in the town of Tring reset after 28 days? The closed circuit surveillance cameras do. Do the closed circuit surveillance cameras? Circuit, circuit. Circuit, sorry. It's okay. Circuit. Do the closed circuit surveillance cameras in the tunnel train reset after 28 days? Yes, they do. Mm, what cameras in the tunnel train reset after 28 days? Well, that's good, but first ask me a question, a yes no question, where you change the sentence so that we can say no. Okay. Change the town, change the number of days, which is a little difficult, or okay. change the kind of cameras, or change cameras. Okay. The closed circuit surveillance. Do, do, do the closed circuit surveillance cameras in the town of Cali reset after 28 days? No, they don't. Do the closed circuit surveillance cameras in the town of train reset after 20 days? Yes, they do. But now ask me the no question one more time. This is how this works. Ask me the no question. Change Tring to Kali one more time. Okay. Do the closed circuit surveillance cameras in the town of Kali reset after 28 days? No, they don't. So now ask me the entonces question, the information question. So where or where, what town, where is the easiest? Mm -hmm. Where do? Where do the cameras? No, where do oh. the closed circuit? Where do the closed circuit surveillance cameras uh, reset after 28 days? Beautiful. The closed circuit surveillance cameras in the town of Tring reset after 28 days. Understand? E. Excellent. Okay. Cynthia, are you there? Yeah, I am here. <laughs> okay. Are you happy? Are Sorry. you happy about that? You're or are you excited. not very happy about that? I am afraid. Oh, oh no. Don't she, be afraid. She's so happy. She yeah, you can, so happy. you can be bored or you can be not excited, no, but don't be afraid. I'm we're all bored. we're all friends here and you're you're gonna do fine. Okay? You're gonna do very well. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, let's use a, a, a smaller sentence. Okay. Here's the sentence. They changed how they grant access. Okay. Now. Me? Yeah, but I want to ask a question. Do you know what grant access means? No, I don't. No. Okay. Grant means give. If I grant something to you, I give it to you. Okay. It's more formal than just saying, I give you uh, 20,000 pesos. Okay. You don't grant somebody. Okay. That, but you do give them access to a building. Okay. And that's called granting access. So what's access? Do you know what access is Cynthia? I think it's the same as in Spanish. Access. Access. Is that is, is is that the same word or no? Who, if anybody knows what access is. Yes, yeah, it's, 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 it's similar to Spanish. What is the Spanish word for access? Access. access. Oh, wow, that's about as close as we can get. So, <laughs> acceso yes. is the verb, right? And what would be, is there a gerund to, to grant access, the situation where you have access to something? I like having access to things. No? Teacher, entry? Entry? Yes, that's another way to say, to, to say the same thing, but there's not a gerund form of access like there is for, for example, accessing in English. No? Okay. So we won't worry about it. So now do you understand this sentence, Cynthia? They changed 
that they as the museum, the people, the security at the museum after the theft, they changed how, which is a, a question word that means the way or the method that they use, how they grant access, how they give access to the museum. Okay, okay. Is, that, is that sentence clear? Yeah. Okay, good. All right. So why don't you start by saying this sentence and I will ask you questions and I will help you with the answers so you will understand how this works. Okay. So try the sentence. They changed how they grant access. They changed how they grant access. Good. Who changed how they grant access? Who changed? <laughs> Yeah. Who? Who? I'm who? asking you a question. Asking you who changed how they grant access. What does this what does this sentence tell us? It says they did. They did. They is the subject of the sentence where they means the museum security people. Does that make sense? <laughs> they okay. The museum changed, right? Changed how they grant access. So if I ask you who changed how they grant access, what's your answer? They did. They did. They did. They did. did. That's the short answer. Now I ask you. A yes, no question. It, the answer is going to be yes. Did they, I just changed they did to, the, to did they, did they change how they grant access? See si or no? Yes. They, they did. did. Yes, they did. Okay, so one more time. Did they change how they grant access? Yes, they did. Um, did they change how they wash windows? No, they didn't. Good. So what did they change? And the answer is just the whole sentence. They changed how they grant access. Good. Good. Okay. You comfortable with that? You, you understand basically? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, Richard, Fanny, I have a question. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Is this Michael? I have seen um, on movies uh, that sentence. Yeah, teacher Michael. I have seen on movies access granted. Sorry, we have a we have a difficult connection. I did that not. I did not. They I did not hear your question. Can you try again? For entering a, a computer. I can't hear Michael at all. Can anyone else hear him? Sorry, teacher. Oh, it's okay. I'm going to repeat it again. Okay. Uh, on movies, I have seen the sentence access grant. I, yes. I, So, Michael, I heard, I don't know if you're still there, I heard up to, in movies, I have seen or I have heard the phrase access granted, yes? Yes. Okay, what's your question? Well, what is the opposite of access granted? Access not granted. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, it, it could teacher. be access denied. There's, yeah. Yeah, it could denied. be I think it could be ever. access it, it could be access denied if you're using exactly the same uh phrase. Um that would be something that you would you would see, yes. Okay, teacher, thank you. Um who has not uh, participated yet? Me. 
and me is Angela. Angela, okay. Um, this time, Angela, this is your sentence, and we're just going to add to the collections to the end of the sentence. So okay. go with the sentence, please. They change how they grant access to the collections. Good. Who changed how they grant access to the collections? They did. Good. Did they change how they grant access to the collections? Yes, they did. Do, did they change how they grant access to the parking lot? No, they didn't. So what did they change how they grant access to? They change how to the grant access to the collections. Good. Now I will say the sentence and please ask me the question. They changed how they grant access to the collections. Who did change how they grant the access to collections? You do not need did there. Don't add verbs you don't need. The simple, the simple way to do this, because you want to do that, but that sounds very strange and not correct. Don't add a helping verb. So who changed how they, how they grant access to the collections? They did. Did they change how they, how they grant access to the collections? Yes, they did. Did they change how they <laughs> watch football? No, um, they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so what did they change? Good. They changed how they grant access to the collections. Good. Um, I have a question for everybody. Just we're, because there is no such thing as grammar, and I know you're thinking this, so I know there's at least Michael and, um, and um, uh, Andrews, somebody's gonna ask this, okay? This is past tense, right? Why isn't this granted? They changed how they granted access to the collections. Why is this grant? And when would it be granted? No. It's grant because this, this is the general case for everybody, okay? Just like um, they change how you uh, check into the airport, how you, uh, how you have access to the airport, okay? You don't, you don't change uh, the, uh, the main verb for grant access um, to the past tense because you've already indicated, indicated it here and you're talking about the general case of how the museum grants access. So don't be tempted to change this to granted, okay? All right, we're gonna use this sentence, all right? but we're not going to use it exactly, okay? Beefed up, we know that means to become stronger. By the way, other, other, uh, anybody else besides Fanny who has no microphone who did not have an opportunity to participate in yet? Okay. The, the sentence is they, okay, the museum security, beefed up their security measures. What are security measures? Um, uh, protocols of security. Yes, protocols, methods, processes, actions, things that are done, all the measures for security. Everything that is done for security is called a measure. Okay? And there are many measures, many processes, many protocols. Good word. Okay. So they beefed up their security measures. Okay. Now that's going away because I don't want you to see it. I want you to listen and not read. They beefed up their security measures. Mariana, go. What 
No, the sentence, please. You, uh, you go with the sentence. I'm sorry. I wasn't clear. They beefed up their security measures. Now, do it smoothly, not beefed up. No, <laughs> beefed up, beefed up beefed up. They beefed up their security measures. They beefed up their security measures. Okay, smoother. They beefed up their security measures. They beefed up their security measures. Who beefed up their security measures? They did. Did they beef up their security measures? Yes, they did. Did they beef up their lunch service? No, they didn't. So what did they beef up? They beefed up their security measures. Good. Marco, go, yes. go, and Mariana ask the question. Uh -huh. They beef up their security measures. Beefed. Okay. They, they beef up the security, they. their security measures. I want to hear the T on the end of beefed. Beefed up. Beefed, beefed up. up. Okay. They beefed up their security measures. Good. Who beefed up uh, their security measures? Uh, they did. Did they beefed up their security measures? Did they beef up? Now you added a, a did, so you have to use yes. beef. Beef. Okay. Did beef, beef up, up their security measures? Yes, uh, they did. Did they beef up? Their um, sanitizing process? Sanitizing process? <laughs> good. That's very good. Sanitizing yeah. process or cleaning process, but both are perfect. Okay. No, they didn't. So, what did they beef up? Excellent. Uh, they beef up their security measures. Good. Now, remember, it's not their security measures. Their, no, their, their okay. security measures. They beefed up their security measures. Their security sure. measures. Okay. Good. Andres Espinoza, listo? Ready? I'm ready, teacher. Go. Okay. They beefed up their security measures. What did they beef up? Their security measures. Did they beef up their security measures? Yes, they did. Did they beef up their cleaning process? No, they didn't. So what did they beef up? They beefed up their security measures. Faster, what did they beef up? They beefed up their security measures. Faster with no pauses. What did they beef up? Oh, it's kind of hard. <laughs> Just wait. You can do it. Yeah. Uh, they beefed up their security measures. Good, Angela. Go. Excuse me. Okay. They beat up their security measure. Beefed up. They beat up their security measure. Beefed. Beefed. B E E F. Beefed up. They beefed up their security measure. Perfect. Who beefed up their security measures? They did. Did they beef up their security measures? Yes, they did. Did they beef up their cleaning processes? No, they didn't. So what did they beef up? They beat, beefed up their security measure. Faster, what did they beef up? They beat off their security measure. You don't wanna say beat off. That's a very bad phrase. Very, it's, it's, it's very, very <laughs> oh ugly God. phrase, okay? Beef beefed. Up. Beefed up their security Good. measure. Yes, it's a very bad, well, it's, yeah, let's, we won't talk about that. Beefed up. Good. Beefed uh, Angie, up. go. They beefed up their security measures. Who beefed up their security measures? They did. Did they beef up their security measures? Yes, they did. Did they beef up their cleaning supplies? Hello? Did they beef up their cleaning supplies? No, they didn't. So what did they beef up? No, they didn't. What did they beef up? You travel. I'm having problem with my connections. Okay, we'll come back to you. Briner, go. Okay. 
Yes, I am. They beef, they beef up the security measure. Who beefed up their security measures? Um, they beef up. They did. They did. Did they beef up their security measures? Yes, they did. Did my mother beef up her security measures? No, she didn't. So who beefed up their security measures? They beefed up the security measures. Good. Cynthia, go. <laughs> okay. They beef up the security measure. Who beefed up their security measures? They did. Did they beef up their security measures? Yes, they did. Did you beef up your security measures? No, I didn't. Good. So who beefed up their security measures? The beef up the security measure. Good. Uh, Isabella, go. Isabella. Isabella, are you sleeping again? Heido, go. Never drinking with Valentina. <laughs> <laughs> Heido. They beefed up the security. They beefed up the security measure. What did they beef up? The security measure. Did they beef up their security measures? Yes, they did. Did they beef up their cleaning processes? No, they didn't. So who beefed up their security measures? Uh, so what did they beef up? I'm sorry. So what did they beef up? The security measure. Okay, good. Andres Espinosa. Andres. Here. Go. They beefed up their security measures. Who beefed up their security measures? They. They what? I need a verb. They beef up. No, they did. They did. Okay. They. Who beef oh, okay, okay. I got it. Who, who they beefed did. up their security measures? They did. Did they beef up their security measures? Yes, they did. Did they beef up their cleaning processes? No, they didn't. So what did they beef up? Their security measures. Okay, good. John, Sebastian, John, are you there? Jimena, go. They beefed up their security measures. What did they beef up? Their security measures. Did they beef up their security measures? Yes, they did. Did they beef up their cleaning problem? No, they didn't. So what did they beef up? They beefed up their security measures. Good. Julian. Yes. I'll go first. They beefed up their security measures. What they did what did they beef up? Their security measures. Did they beef up their security measures? Yes, they did. Did they beef up their sanitizing measures? No, they didn't. So what did they beef up? They beefed up their security beefed. measures. Good. Michael, go. Good. Do, do we have a good microphone on Michael yet? Probably not. Maria? Maria, you? Yes. Go, they please. Beefed, they beat up the security measures. Beefed up. Beef up. Okay. You do not want to say beat off. Beat off is masturbando. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay. We don't okay. want to say that. Beefed <laughs> up. Beef up. <laughs> Beefed up. Maybe. Beef up. Okay. I'm going yeah. to write... I'm going to write it. I don't want you to just read this. I, I want you to listen and use the same sounds. Okay. Whoops. Beefed up. Beef up. 
Okay, this is the bad version, beat off. Do not use that phrase. That is a bad phrase to use in, in public company, okay? In oh, private okay. with your friends, that's a funny phrase, but not in a regular, regular sentence. <laughs> okay. beefed, beefed up, okay? So okay. go again one more time. Babe. <laughs> No, now you can't say it. Right? I need to practice more. Yes. They beat up, beat up, beef up their security measures. Beefed up, beefed up. Beefed up. Good. Who beefed up their security measures? They did. Did they beef up their security measures? Yes, they did. Did they beef up their bus schedule? No, they beat up. <laughs> no, they didn't. Okay, they didn't. He's here. <laughs> so what did they be? So what did they beef up? <laughs> they beat up the security oh, officials. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, you need to work on this tonight. We'll we'll yes, uh, we'll yes, try. Yes. We'll we'll I'm have to try to tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Uh, Teacher, I have a question. Sure. Uh, I thought that when you say bit off, bit off, uh, uh, it's when someone break up with you, isn't it? No, 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 no. no. Okay. Uh, what, what you're thinking of is break up. Break, <laughs> break up. Let me write that for you. But in some phrases, I used to hear beat of like she beat of me or something like that well maybe in a pornography <laughs> no <laughs> break up or broke up okay never beat off that is if you use the translate translated translate a bit of it's like break up like rechazar in spanish and that's that's a real bad idea. If you use that, don't use that for that <laughs> phrase. No, do not translate it like that. No, no. no okay, no, no. thank you. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Other questions. Uh, I saw a new. I saw a new uh, name quickly. Somebody. Somebody came and then I guess they disappeared. It looked like maybe a new student. For well, there's we have a new Natalia. Natalia Segura. Yes, teacher. Hello. New student? Good evening. Yes, teacher. I am a new student, but I'm sorry because I probably it's very late today. Yeah, it's okay. No problem. I just saw we had a second Natalia, and I think there was also one other new student, but she has gone or he. It was a name I did not recognize. So, um, okay. again, uh, I'm sorry for the problems at the beginning of this with the recording and the Facebook streaming and uh, I am just not very good at technology, I have to tell you. So I'm gonna stop my share. I'm gonna stop streaming on Facebook and I'm gonna stop recording and say to everyone,